I didn't do that name because I can't pronounce it every time. Here we go, round one, scheduled for 12. Let's see what kind of heat Gonzalez can put on Roy Jones Jr. He's much slower than Jones. Gonzalez pressing forward. Good right hand for Gonzalez, and he went to the body downstairs. Yeah, I like the left hook to the body by Gonzalez. Good, solid punch. That's what he wants. Staples Center is packed tonight. Boxing fans here to see the best in the world, Roy Jones Jr. And there's a punch inside, quick to the jaw of Gonzalez. All right, it was like lightning. There it is, just a short little oh. left hook inside. Traveled, it looked like about eight or nine inches. Boom. The short little crisp, concise punches like that. Boom. The short little crisp, concise punches like that. Exactly right, because there's the same angle that he threw it at. That one just missed. Gonzalez trying to bear in, but he's going to get an uppercut, just hit him, and then a left hit him in the face. And Gonzalez is now just standing there trying to hold on. Gonzalez is here to fight. He's, he's going to fight to with every last ounce of energy that he has. A left just hit him square. His eyes are going crossed. You can see that he's definitely tagged. In other words, he wants Gonzalez to get out there and throw punches. Forget about that he's got Roy Jones Jr. in front of him. Oh, another left inside, and he felt that one too. Taller guy, and if you can get in there and force him back a little bit, maybe land a body blow. There was one where he held up on. There's some body shots as Roy just covers up now. And Gonzalez kind of backs off from it. He's not going to buy it. Well, he didn't want him going out there going crazy with uh, Gonzalez. And Jones has fought a disciplined round. Another punch that landed on the chin of Gonzalez. Good right hand from Gonzalez through the defense of Jones. Well, he's having to deal with the size of Gonzalez here, a natural light heavyweight. Now Gonzalez really mixing it up and chasing Jones across the ring. He wants to fight now. The only blemish on Jones' record was a disqualification. Gonzalez forcing Jones into the corner now. We're in the fourth round. Jones, nice right hand. It's just so difficult when a guy's that quick and just hitting you from every angle that you can't see. Tried the uppercut, there's a left that landed. He's in against just the whole package. It's just a, a big, that's a good right. You just step back is what I'm saying, Richard. If you can just step back and then land a right like that and you can't even stop it, then you got problems. That was experience right there. There's that right hand, Rich. I See, just... that's the pot shotting I talked about. He can just, because he's so quick, he can get away with that. So he trained too hard. Let's see what happens. Round five. Oh, there's a left hand inside. The same type of punch that put Gonzalez down in the first round. And we'll see if he can get up from this one. He'll get up. All right, let's take a look at the knockdown. Look at oh. that left hook, just so quick. And he never saw it. He just never saw it. So the first you realize what's happened to you is when you're down on the ground, you realize that you've been knocked down and you're asking. All right, let's take a look at the knockdown. Look at oh. that left hook, just so quick. And he never saw it. Jones just went out and unloaded that left hook and right on the button. Oh. There's another hard punch. Gonzalez is in trouble. He's trying to fight his way out and throw some punches. Jones just walked right across and bang. There's another punch. Look at this. Gonzalez absorbing some punishment in this round for sure. Another right hand over the top. Just so quick. That's the one we saw in the last round. But still he fights on. And still adheres to his fight plan. Get close, bang, body punches. He's still there. He's not wobbly in to say the least. Gonzalez kind of wobbly on that throw right there. He's Having to take a few punches, uppercuts inside, very powerful punches. He's trying hard, he's throwing a lot of punches, Gonzalez, but the crowd doesn't go crazy because they don't really believe that, he, <laughs> that he's doing any damage. It's a it's sort of a, a leaping hook, and there's the right hand over the top that they can't uh, Julio cannot stop. Another right hand. 
Jones lands as Gonzalez tries to make a little offense here. It makes you a little reluctant to rush in there, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's just devastating. Uh-oh. Yeah, that almost turned Gonzalez around right there. There's that kind of backhanded jab, and look Whoa. at the way that Jones countered off it and nearly turned him around with it. Yep. Just There's that kind of backhanded jab, and look Whoa. at the way that Jones countered off. Extremely lightning fast, quick left hooks that he had no defense for. He's also absorbed a lot of straight rights over the top of his left glove. And some combination. Really unloading a little bit here. Jones covering up in the corner, countering. Look out for the heads. Well, you, don't get, you don't get much of a clean shot on Jones in these situations, even when you're unloading. Julio trying to put some power into those punches. But he never seems to get a clean shot, and when he does, Not he in the up open. We should also keep in mind that, you know, you think that Jones should be able to go out there and finish the show, as you put it. But remember what he said about his hands, about how his fists have been hurting him, how they're brutal. Oh! Oh, it got real aggressive there, right into the cameraman almost. Murkison asked him, is there pu if his punch is light, li any lighter? He said, no. There's that punch. Julio's head came almost into your living room, folks. He goes uppercut, then he goes over the top. Doubled up with the right hand. Many guys, when they're facing a height and reach disadvantage, will not try to throw body punches from long range. There's a right hand that got in. And he says, look, I'm not Rocky Balboa. I'm not, uh, yeah. it's not, uh, you know. You hit well, there's that left here. again. Eh? There's a right hand over the top from Jones. Because I'm sure it didn't help Julio's confidence to be knocked down in the first couple minutes of the fight here tonight. Oh, he, now he's staggered. Now he's staggered. Let's see if Jones actually tries to finish. I just did the bolo punch, putting on a show. All right, as you can see, Julio Gonzalez really was getting hit. Roy Jones actually leaping with that punch, leaping in, much in the manner that Floyd Patterson used to do it when he was heavyweight champion, when he threw the leaping left hook. That was the leaping right hand from Jones. There, he confuses Jones with the wind-up. All right, as you can see, Julio Gonzalez really was getting hit. Roy Jones actually leaping with that punch. Well, it's difficult against the guy with this mobility. And, and you don't do that in the 12th round of a fight that you're getting skunked on, you know. He's just afraid to throw it. There, there's a right hand inside. That's what I'm talking about. Round that he could have given him another one. There's oh. the left-right combination. It is a knockdown. He went down to one knee. So even though it's a flash knockdown, it is without question a legitimate knockdown. Left, right. Like lightning. Round that he could have given him another one. There's oh. the left-right combination. It is a knockdown. He went down to one knee. You gotta give credit to Jones. So there's a little desperation in the final 30 seconds, Rich. There's where I thought he'd be, but. Yeah, this is what people were hoping they'd see more. Oh, he's in a bad way again. All for the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr.